award. There are 50 awards in Chicago. They're basically political units that an alderman controls as opposed to community areas, which there are 77 of in the city. And uh, the community areas are static. They don't change. They're like, uh, people think of neighborhoods and they think of wards sometimes. So you know, you have like your Pilsen or your Rogers Park or your Inglewood, those are all community areas. Uh, wards do change every 10 years. But the whole point is to balance out each uh, ward. So if you have a million people in the city, a million divided by 50, that number should be in each ward. So let's see, congressional redistricting and legislative redistricting, it'll usually be broken down between political parties, but Chicago is all Democrat almost all the time anyway. So that's sort of factored out because most people are going to end up voting for Democratic aldermen to begin with. So. In that case, it comes down heavily on race in the city. So uh, the two colors, they can represent any kind of different group. It doesn't matter what different group, as long as it represents a different group. So it could be black, Latino, it could be white, Asian, it doesn't really matter. It just matters that each district, this is the whole city, each district needs to be literally redrawn, and that's the ward boundaries. Like the, the war bodies that change have to be redrawn every 10 years to even the population. So, obviously then there are probably the number of little different ways you can redraw the map based on just like a block by block change or even based on uh, literally changing the whole war. So an example of a disproportionate system, a uh, disproportionate, uh, a way in which the war can be drawn to where power is given to one group in favor of another would be to do it simply like this. And uh, I think to most people when you look at it, it seems fair because there are three totally even districts, or in this case wards. But if you look at it, the green group, whatever the green group represents for the situation or the ward, has a majority overall, but in this drawing of it, they have a majority in every single district, which means that the minority groups will either never be able to elect an alderman of their choice, whether it be a Latino group, an alderman who is Latino to represent them, who knows their needs specifically. This would be an example of a, of a balanced map, really, if the green circles, whatever group they may be, they have a majority overall in the city. It's a non-proportional system, so someone has a majority in the city at, at some point in time. Uh, in this map, it's balanced. They have a basically supermajority here, probably always going to be able to elect who they want to because the other group is just so small. In the middle though, in this ward, whatever it may be, uh, they don't have the majority, which is fair because there's a group that is rivaling them in size. Here there's also a majority. So overall, they have a majority in two of the wards and not one. That's a balanced system because of the ratio that exists in the city to begin with. Uh, man, there's so much to explain this I've never really thought about it before. <laughs> this map is an example of Hacking uh, right here it would be an example of redrawing a map so that a certain group, in this case the green, the minority of the city, one of the minorities, uh, is packed into one ward. So they're packed in here. So Chicago's People say it's the, I think I've heard the third most segregated city in the U.S. A lot of times you would think it was the first because if you go to different areas, anyone who's been around here knows, uh, they're broken apart into different groups. That's, that's self-segregation and it's also, you know, the result of a lot of different factors over the years like redlining, all these things. But redistricting, 
aims to not only even out each ward, but to make it so that the groups that are, whether it's ethnic or, or racially grouped together for whatever reasons, aren't disproportionately affected so they still have a vote. The whole point of redistricting and the whole point of having these wards is to have representation in the city council.